is up you guys welcome back to another pick a card reading um, this time around we are going to be seeing what messages um, are you needing to receive for this week so what's going on this week what kind of heads up do you guys need to know um, just in general what to possibly expect for the next seven days um, and this is also going to be timeless so from whenever you are watching this, seven days from now is kind of the intended time frame that this is supposed to cover. Um, so you're going to go ahead and pick either Prowl 1, 2, or 3, depending on whichever one catches your attention or whatever number um, is calling towards you. Um, that's the Prowl that will be um, containing your guys' messages. So I'll give you guys a minute to go ahead and intuitively pick which pile um, you would like to choose. So if you guys chose group number one, this is going to be your week ahead reading. Let's start with a couple of cards from Tarot. See what it is that we need to know for the next upcoming day, seven days. What messages this group may or may come on for the next upcoming seven days? One, two, three, and four. Of course. In the bottom of your deck, energy is the high with that in reverse. Okay, so you got five of swords, the eight of wands. The magician and the seven of swords in reverse. Okay. Okay. Okay, so the first thing coming to mind. So the five of swords in general, upright, usually has to do with change, conflict. We're usually seeing some kind of misunderstanding or fight or argument or some kind of change um, or fight you're having with others or someone else. Um, when it's in reverse though, I really feel like it's a lot more inward, like you're fighting within yourself, like you're conflicted about something. Um, and the Eight of Wands in reverse also has to do with, normally upright, the Eight of Wands has to do with fast movement, um, action going towards you. Um, but when it's in reverse, it's almost like it's it's pretty much a delay. But because I feel like this inner conflict is what's causing this delay, I feel like, um, and also because the swords have to do with your thoughts, um, communication. So maybe there's a decision that you, you haven't made yet and it's causing a delay and whatever action that needs to be taken, whether it's on your part or someone else's. Um, so you're conflicted about something, you're fighting with yourself, so it's causing you to kind of stall on whatever action you need to take. With the magician, the magician has to do with you having all of the resources that you need to make your manifestations, wants, needs, and dreams a reality. Um, putting things into action, um, pretty much create, like creating whatever it is that you put your mind to. And then also, um, I believe that her hand up and below is signifying like as above, so below. So whatever you put something, whatever you put into a situation, you're gonna get out of it. Um, and the seven of swords in reverse, um, you're seeing this person trying to you're seeing this person who already has like five swords in their hand and clearly they like don't have enough room to carry those two more swords that they're eyeing like in the corner and at the same time they're also like trying to get away like with whatever it is that they can they can grab um and because it's in reverse i feel like you're almost like lying to yourself that you're able to take on more than you can carry or Maybe you're you're so attached um, 
you're so attached to like these or these swords that you're not willing to give up anything else so that you can either carry carry these two that are left behind or just move forward with what you do have so I'm not sure if this this week you have some kind of I don't know if this week there's some kind of deadline there's some kind of decision that you have to make um, and with the hierophant in reverse usually has to do with um, uh, some usually has to do with like higher commitments or belief systems, spirituality, things of that nature, like in terms of like traditional institutions usually are represented with that. But when it's in reverse, it's kind of like an alternative way of living, seeing things, your belief systems, the way in which you, you know, pursue whatever, whatever it is your life purpose is. So I'm not sure if maybe you feel like you're on some kind of timeline to figure out your purpose or to figure out what it is you're doing with your life, what it is, or there's, there's some type of uh, decision that you're trying to make that is, is different from the norm, is like you're kind of weighing the pros and cons from kind of the whole like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But the thing is, if it don't, if it's broke for you, you should do something else, essentially, is kind of like what I'm getting. So I want to get some oracle to clarify the situations like surrounding this decision. Also, I have like all three of my dogs uh, laying around me. So if you hear their nails or squeaky toys or click clacking, that is them walking around, changing their laying, napping positions, or playing in the background, so I apologize in advance. <laughs> you have overcome your fears. So yeah, there's something that you're fearful of. Maybe that's why with the Seven of Swords, you're so hesitant to either hold on to what you have or let go of what you have in order to have something else or move forward or have like progress. Um, and the magician is, is telling, is, call, is calling you to work through your fears to get progress, to get all of these different, use your resources or whatever it is means that you have to create, to create something for yourself, even if it's kind of outside of the box. Um, and I'm not sure if maybe your fear has to do with rejection, maybe your fear has to do with because it's not normal or maybe it's not like everybody else's, maybe there's outside pressure from like friends or family or other uh, individuals like of authority that you look up to. Let me see, I got one more. Soothe your soul. Again, like uh, the whole connecting with your inner purpose, your soul, your, your belief system, like you having to choose and figure out wor what works for you, like what brings you comfort, joy, what soothes your, what soothes your soul in terms of like your purpose, your reason for being here, or just what you do, what gets you out of like bed, out of bed in the morning, you know what I mean? Like, and that's something only that you can like figure out. That's something only you know. That's not really something that someone can tell you. I mean, we're we're raised with kind of like basic structures of, you know, societal norms as to like what you're supposed to do with your life, how you're supposed to act, who you're supposed to be, you know, and, and how you're supposed to figure that out. But um, especially now, I think we're in a time where those kind of constructs don't, work for everyone and I think more and more people are realizing that and some people are more open to that change and some people aren't as supportive and so maybe that's why you are hesitant this week to even because again you're getting co conflict in terms of like swords and that's communication so I don't know if you're worried about like speaking up about a decision you want to make or about your opinion or something that you want um Maybe it's some type. Maybe maybe it's some kind of hard conversation that you just don't want to have. Um, you like because you have to make the decision within yourself. Like, 
what it is that you want, what do you want to do, and then you acting on it, which is probably, it could be having a conversation with this person of authority or that you look up to or that, you know, has been like an example for you, maybe something like that. cycle begins okay so maybe this is for some of you I don't think all of you believe in the impossible mm -hmm. and on the bottom of the deck you get meditate and contemplate so yeah that's you kind of figuring out what it is that you want to do weighing the pros and cons Again, again with the new moon in Libra, like, I know it says new romantic cycle begins, but, like, it, even if it's not, like, something romantic, which it could be, it could be that you're contemplating talking, having a hard conversation with your person, um, or maybe you are contemplating, like, having, like, moving to the next level with your person, because usually the higher font does have to do with higher level commitments and because it's in reverse maybe you're considering eloping maybe you're considering um just doing something the non like you're a very non-conforming way and you are not sure how your partner or maybe your family or their family is going to react um and that's something that you're going to have to weigh out um even if it's not something romantic related um again with the new moon in libra i'm seeing the scales and again that's weighing out the pros and cons, like, in, in terms of, like, why would it benefit you and what would be um, the cons of it? Like, what would be the negative things that you think would happen or, you know, just result from you making that decision or speaking on that or acting on it? And believing in the impossible, again, in very similar to overcoming your fears, is you have to believe that these things are in your, that you know what is in your best interest that you that you know that you're able to create whatever it, you know situation it is that you're 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 looking to have and that it is possible and that you have the resources and that you have the support and that or you just have the means to make that possible and then maybe that just means you have to leave you know some things behind or maybe people behind um, you know so that's kind of what kind of the feel that I'm getting I'm wondering like what because it seems like something that's very important to you because the higher font here is, is here just because one it's and also the magician so there's two major arcana which has to I'm um, it's something that's important it must be important to you it's like it's weighing heavy so I'm really wondering like, what this has to do with so I'm gonna get let's do the tea just to see like whoop the streets are surrounding it, maybe. You got bag something important such as a new job or a raise. Yeah. So like I was like I was saying, I feel like this is something important to you. So maybe it is like you contemplating quitting your job to go for another one, or maybe there there's a new position or a, um, a promotion that you're contemplating taking on because there's more responsibilities, things like that. Um, you got sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. Yeah, again, something something creative. You're here with the magician. You're creating something. Um, something new, something, something you're not familiar with, a new beginning of some kind. You got the heart, love, deep affection, and caring. Okay, so maybe there is, there is a probably a good portion of you that probably is contemplating some type of next level commitment or decommitment if that's even a word 
that you're contemplating having a conversation with your other person. And then you also get the unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. So yeah, it's you're really being told that no one else can really make this decision for you, that you have everything you need within you, your intuition, your mindset, your insight, you, you know, the knowledge on, in, in terms of the situation, like what's going on, what's most beneficial for you, um, and also just being considerate of maybe, you know, maybe if there's another party involved, how they would feel or if it's very important just like what their family or friends would think, things like that. Um, really using your intuition and, and your, your best judgment to make that call. Um, let's see, is there any, I guess, uh, a little bit more advice. But with the sunrise here, like it's sunrise, unicorn, but these are all really positive. These are, these are positive like changes. So I really think this is something that you should go for. Um, at least it seems, you know, that way. The way in which you go about it, maybe, I think, you kind of need a way out. And what, what do you want to do, considering the Eight of Wands is action and it's in reverse. So you coming to contemplate how you're going to act upon this, like how you're going to create the situation. But I do think overall that you should act on it because it seems like it's something that's really important to you guys. You get the white raven spirit, trust in the magic. So the same thing with believe in the impossible. Um, trust that, you know, spirit, the universe, your guides, ancestors, you know, they have your back. They have your best interest. Um, and that just any, any, whatever it is that you're thinking is possible. Like it is meant for you and you can make it happen even if you think it's impossible and you know, spirit and the universe will, you know, as long as you kind of put, you do the inner work, you know, make that decision and at least have the intention to act on it. Um, that gives spirit, you know, room to really, well, yeah, work their magic, like create situations, you know, that are more beneficial for you in ways that maybe you wouldn't have even thought of. Be spirit you get sweet results await yeah so it, it I really feel like this is something it, this is going to result in something positive like I, I don't think anything negative will come out of this um, so I think the hardest thing in general from your reading is honestly this conflict within yourself like I think once you finally make the decision and understand why it is that this is the best thing for you, why it works, why this is the best option, why you want to go about things this way. It'll be easier. <coughs> Sorry, that was my dog Jolene. She's probably trying to start a fight with one of my boys. Um... I think the hardest thing is honestly making the decision within yourself and resolving that kind of confusion that you have. And then everything else after that I feel is going to be like downhill from there in, in terms of at least you having some kind of resolve. Like whatever, res I think there's going to be some type of positive result, whether that's just within yourself um, or maybe you and another person if this is, some like, this is something romantic. Um, and lastly, I would like to get some clarification with the charms. Any last messages? Teapot, which is usually, I think, like emotion, emotions boiling over. I'm assuming this could things are like 
high emotions right now. And it's oh look, you got the unicorn, and then you also got the freaking unicorn right here. So use your intuition, you know, to make those shit. So yeah, really trust your intuition. I really think that that's a positive omen right there. You got the engagement ring right here. So again, um, higher level commitment. I don't know if some of you are contemplating marriage or contemplating a proposal or just contemplating like uh, the next step in a relationship. Maybe that's moving in together. Um, maybe that's, you know, putting a label on things, things like that. Um, you also get the Eiffel Tower here with travel. So it is possible that maybe you're contemplating traveling somewhere. Maybe you're planning to elope somewhere. Um, you got sweet with, again, with sweet results. So, like, you're kind of getting, like, these really cool confirmations. You got, I survived the chancla. So I really think you're going to make it through this. Um, and you'll be able to probably, like, la like look back and laugh at how, um, how hard you were making the situation for yourself. You got the star and the chariot. The chariot has to do with victory, success, forward movement. And the star, again, is you just being your true authentic self, even if that's, like, outside the confines of um societal norms and then you got gg here which again reminds me of using your intuition like seeing the magic within things um trusting that again trusting how you right here with the seashell your emotions how things make you feel like what how each decision you know pros and cons would make you feel here you got sand flash again with getting grounded um, kind of just really cutting through the bullshit and just being like, okay, what do I want? What's going to benefit me? Um, even if I have to cut ties with a couple of people, um, you know, but I also think that once you make the decision, you act upon it, you'll actually see that you have a lot more su uh, support than you realize. Um, so yeah, that was your guys' reading. Um, I really wish you guys the best of luck in terms of whatever this decision is, but, um, uh, in the comments below, if you want, like this week, if you want to come back to this video, please let me know what this decision is that you guys are trying to like, you guys are contemplating on or whatever it is this next step is, because I'm kind of curious because I, considering some of these things are probably marriage or like a new job, I'm really curious. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was your reading. If you guys would like to book a personal reading with me directly or support me directly, um, I will have those links in the description. Again, tips are always um, appreciated, never expected, um, as well with my other social media handles. Um, if there's any specific topic or type of pick of card readings that you guys would like to see, um, again, please comment down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hi, group number two. If you chose the second pile, this is going to be your week ahead reading. Okay, spirit, what messages do you have for group number two in regards to the next seven days? Swords and King of Wands. Okay. Uh, <laughs> automatically, the first thing I was thinking was like some kind of conflicted. And then you got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So the first thing right off the bat um, with the Queen of Swords in reverse, usually the Queen Upright has to do with a person of authority, but someone who um, is very like logic driven, very rational, um, really knows how to separate their emotions, say, says it like it is. Um, but when she's in reverse, she really can come off as a nice queen, some people would say a bitch, uh, <laughs> uh, the kind of just harsh, really harsh in the way that they communicate. With the Queen of Wands is someone who's very much like boss bitch energy, um, standing within their power, 
usually, usually feminine energy can be man or woman, doesn't matter. Um, she, they, them. It's just the embodiment of someone who is confident, strong, knows their self-worth, like knows what they can do. Very much like, like boss bitch energy. Um, what the Ace of Swords has to do with breakthroughs, new beginnings, a, a new idea, um, some kind of, I'm getting breakthrough, like, like cutting through the bullshit, like, like an epiphany kind of situation, like new beginning, new start, new opportunities. Um, and with the King of Wands here, again, similar to the Queen of Wands, you have someone who is confident, is fiery, is passionate, um, is probably pretty attractive. Um, have has more of like a masculine energy and I'm seeing because you have the king and the queen of wands I do feel like this is a um, divine counterpart situation so I feel like this is you and the other person and I don't know if this is a third party situation because you also have the knight of pentacles in reverse which is a younger more uh, maybe rash type energy but also because it's the knight of pentacles they're very slow moving so maybe they lag on things maybe they, they can come off as lazy maybe they can come off as stalling things like that um so yeah i'm kind of getting like i don't know if there was kind of some kind of breakthrough or some type of truth maybe between you guys because of this queen of swords um in regards to this knight of pentacles i'm not sure but Let's get let's get some oracle and because I feel like this is has like love related. Let's do the love compass oracle to see if we get any context. Sorry, if you hear the clicking in the background, that is my dog Shadow walking around aimlessly as he likes to do every now and then. So, what messages do you have to clarify? Group number two, please. And that came flying out. Oh, you have heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Okay, so some type of heart to heart. And again, with the Queen of Swords here. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And one more. Oh. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the word retreat. Okay. And on the bottom of the deck, you get separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Okay. So I, I'm really getting third-party situation vibes from this. I really feel like there are three parties involved in some type of... Even if it's not romantic, maybe it's like either a love triangle or a friendship thing or... Some, so I, I really do feel like this has to do with some type of connection. Um... Like, I don't know if there was some type of retreat or in the background, you know, like a getaway of, of, of some kind that maybe probably was not appropriate. Um, and because someone wasn't making the effort, thing, one thing probably led to another, and now that's leading to a very hard-to-heart a -hard conversation, a very hard conversation um, and it could, I mean, it could be that this Queen of Swords and Queen of Wands is the same person, and that's they're just embodying this person to really get like the truth um, and figure out how they want to move forward with this. Let me see. Let's get some. Let's get some more Oracle to clarify. This is interesting. <laughs> if this is a, a third party situation, like I do apologize. I, it's, it's really unfortunate that this kind of thing would happen. Um, it really feels like some type of like betrayal or just, or even just something like really 
it's I just it's, it's giving me because the Knight of Pentacles is here in reverse. Like it really feels petty, um, like immature. Like let's see, any other clarifying messages you have for group number two? my dog shadow sorry about that so you have mountain major change to overcome okay well that's seems relevant harp great happiness okay well that's well yeah usually with the ace of swords that's a new beginning so hopefully there's like a happy ending in that sense the ram is stubborn, aggressive person, and that could very well be um, this king of wands, or it could it could be the queen of swords, queen of the queen of wands situation type person. Um, I want to get one more from the tea leaf oracle. You will take care, you will be taken care of in difficult times. So you're going to have some type of support through this difficult situation. Um, and I don't know if that's um, another person that's important to you. Maybe that's family, maybe that's friends, maybe that's children. I'm not sure. Just because, the only reason is just because I see kids here with make the effort. So I don't know if. Maybe things are trying to be worked out because of that. Um, but let's get more Oracle to clarify. Spirit, what clarification do you have for group number two, please? says don't let your past hold you back so I don't know if maybe something maybe this whole third party or sketchy kind of situation is something that happened in the past with this connection um, and it's maybe coming up now Whoop. have a time rather to give than to take so I do feel again with this whole stubborn aggressive person and again with the knight of pentacles in reverse like I do like feel like this was like an act of selfishness, whatever it was, even if it wasn't a third party situation, maybe it's, maybe it was just acting rashly, irresponsibly, meditate and contemplate. Um, yeah, this is something that's gonna meet, gonna need to be, um, sat on and really thought about in terms of how you want to move forward uh, carefully and get more clarification any more clarification for group number two please Ooh. let the money flow in so I don't know if this is a financial situation or maybe there's money involved or maybe it's just something like a divorce or um, something along those lines where you're dependent upon an another person. Um, just, being sh make, just making sure you're open to abundance or things that you are entitled to. Let me see. Which also kind of plays in you would be taken care of in difficult times. So I feel like some ki type of I don't know if some kind of conflict is here and then there's some type of inheritance or or the passing over of abundance um, and you just being open to receiving that. Anything else? Group number two, please. Anything else? Clear the clutter. And one more. Oh, we got two. Okay, I'll take two. You got sunstone. Take pleasure in the things you do. And I will like shift your money mindset. Okay, so I really do think that some type of 
finances are tied up to this situation. Um, clear the clutter, and a clear, clear the clutter could just be literally you cleaning your home, could be clearing out your mind, getting clear on things, um, clearing the bullshit if you want to like think of it that way, um, and take pleasure in the things you do, and making sure that, you know, like uh, the things that you decide to give your time to is going to result in something positive back. So your hobbies, your interests, like don't let those things kind of go on the back burner just because someone else's stupidity <laughs> pretty much is what I'm getting. Okay. One more clarification for group number two. Spirit has your back. So yeah, whatever the situation is, um, luck is on your side, spirit is on your side, you know, angel ancestors, things like that, whichever, you know, resonates with you, um, you do have that support. And trust that whatever this situation is, whether it's a divorce, a separation, or just a hard conversation in regards to how to move forward within this connection, um, just keep in mind that you do have spirit on your side. And th it, it seems like things are going to work out in your favor in the sense that you're going to be taken care of. You're going to be you're going to be OK. You're going to be able to pursue the things that you still, you know, ha take joy and take pleasure in um, that are important to you. Any other clarifications? Oh. Koifu spirit, there's always enough. Yeah, so I don't know if there's maybe like a fear around what will happen if you separate with this person or if you lose this connection or um, if maybe you feel like you don't have the financial support of this person that you that you will be taken care of, that there is enough, that you will come across the resources that you need. Yeah, again, Turkey Spirit, give with the grace and with gratitude and grace. So yeah, this is really the attitude of gratitude, like being thankful for the things that you do have. Um, and clear, oh, again, with clearing out the clutter, like making room for you to allow more things to flow in um, and being thankful for those, you know, the things that you do already have and the things that are already coming. Okay, you got a couple of these. Ant spirit, time to collaborate. So. Maybe you're having to come to a consensus with this other person. Um, maybe you're having, to, maybe you're collaborating in terms of legalities. Maybe you're collaborating with just support, so you're not doing things by yourself. And then you get flamingo spirit, embrace the in between, and cat spirit, claim your independence. So yeah, this seems like it's going to be some type of transitional period for you um, with claim your independence. It's very much, you know. Um, insinuating confidence and again like this queen of wands energy boss bitch energy so maybe you're going from this queen of swords and reverse energy to the queen of wands energy um you know with having that confidence in yourself um, carrying yourself with a certain you know standard and and grace um right now that you're going through this transitional period and again when you're seeing the flamingo here and the flamingos are usually they're usually representations of like really pretty birds, you know, like feminine. Um, so you kind of coming into this feminine, confident kind of um, just em just embracing like your intuition, embracing yourself, embracing, you know, um, how you feel about yourself, the way you carry yourself, things like that. So I re I'm so, I'm sorry that if you guys are going through this, I feel like this is a this is kind of like a necessary breakthrough that happened or conversation that's going to happen, that is necessary for you to go into the next steps of whatever it is that you're trying to do, with yourself, um, in terms of your growth. Let's go ahead and and then I want to go ahead and get some charms for you guys to see if we're getting if we get any other messages, um, or validation, confirmation, things like that. Other messages for group number two. 
I made a message of clarification to have her take some books here, please. So you have, okay, well, you got the gumball machine, which is, you know, surprises, rewards, you know, it might not be something you expect, but it'll be something that you're happy with. You got here with the little Kraft mac and cheese, which is, reminds me of self-care, making, making sure, you know, you remember to treat yourself. And you with Libra here, like, I don't know if you're Libra, you're dealing with a Libra, or just in general, having that you know, keeping in mind that balancing act of like pros and cons in terms of how you want to move forward with this situation. And the same thing with the little ice cream kitty right here. It's like treat yourself, you know, kind of also your inner, like having that conversation with your inner child. Maybe listening to music. Maybe there's messages you're being, you've been getting in terms of uh, lyrics and the music you've been listening to, like signs, symbols in that sense, mixed emotions and temperance. Again, with like the Libra mixed, you're, you're, I feel like you, you're kind of going back and forth between having this conversation. Um, and now that I think about it, your guys' energy is kind of similar with group number one, like where they had a like, they also needed, they, they were having con, con, um, conflicted feelings about acting on or having a conversation about something. Um, so I don't I don't know if that was, if you were maybe thinking about between one or two, I don't know, maybe go back to group number one to see if there's any other messages there for you. But temperance, again, like something is out of balance, like something's not fair, like someone's giving more and someone's taking more. Um, and mixed emotions, again, with being kind of conflicted uh, as to what to do. And you got right here, Sabrus, you having to play multiple roles. And again, with the temperance here, maybe you having to do more roles than really like you should have to, um, taking on maybe responsibilities that aren't even yours. And then right here, I always think of this like as a little mine, like a ticking time bomb, like you walking on eggshells um, because of the situation or because of this person. And then right here, you got the little like Mexican lollipop right here, which... I always see it, like, the first thing that popped up when I, when I felt this was, like, two-faced, like, fake, like, the, with this, I always think of, like, something that happened, like, a result that's, like, not what you expected, because, like, when you usually look at the wrapper of this, like, it's a clown with, like, hair and this, that, and a collar, and when you open it up, you get this, and you're like, whoa, what is this? <laughs> like, you're not expecting this, like, like, it to look like that, it's, like, almost, like, like that nailed it theme where people try to make cakes and you see the version that they want to do and then the version they come up with and it's just like botched. Um, so I do kind of get like a two-faced kind of like someone really showing their true colors, like what they, who they really are. Um, and honestly, it's for your own benefit for you to grow in terms of, I don't know if it's, um, it has to do with maybe past things from your childhood that maybe you need to address with your inner child and work on that. Again, I'm not a, I'm not a licensed professional, um, but I do advocate for therapy. I think it's very helpful. Um, I currently go to therapy, and it's been very therap It's been very, um, it's been very life changing. Um, just because this whole situation, like I, I can resonate with this because I've gone through something similar very recently and that's something that's been helpful for me so you don't have to obviously again like take my advice with a grain of salt but I felt like the need to say that so maybe that's for a reason for some of you specifically but yeah that was your guys's reading um, I'm very sorry that if you guys are going through this difficult time um, and I really wish you the best of luck and sending you guys lots of love through this transitional time um, but that was your guys' reading. If you guys would like to book a personal reading with me or directly support me through tips, um, again, they are always appreciated, never expected. I will put those links down below. If there are any specific topics or types of pick-a-card readings that you would like to see, again, please put those in the comments because I do read those and appreciate those. And again, if you would like to see more videos like this in general, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hi, group number three. If you chose this pile, 
as your reading group. This is your guys' messages for the upcoming week, next seven days. Spirit, what messages do you have? Or what can group number three expect in the next seven days? Next seven days for group number three, please. Eight of Swords in reverse. Freeing yourself from any mental booby traps that you may have had. Two of Cups. Uh, giving and receiving equal exchange. Some type of some some type of exchange between you and another party, or that whole equal give and take relationship. Could be relationships. Knight of Swords, fastest moving knight in all of tarot, acting swiftly, speaking very quick, acting and speaking very quickly towards something, maybe towards this relationship or connection, maybe you freeing yourself and allowing yourself to move forward. Again, you got two, this person's like has two, so two people, two things like that. You got the wheel of fortune, and on the bottom of the deck energy, you got the star. Wheel of fortune, abundance, um, financial gain, prosperity, thing, just change generally going in your favor. And the star having to do with being your most authentic self, um, again with the whole like receiving, receiving and giving, um, also just like quirkiness, um, alternative maybe lifestyle thoughts, and also just having the attention on you. So all about you. So I don't know. Let me see. So you're freeing your, so from the Eight of Swords, usually this has to do with this person being trapped. Um, well, seeming like they're stuck, they're trapped, they, they can't move, that they can't, you know, escape. But when it's in reverse, it's either you realizing it or you kind of being shown that like, hey, actually, I'm not stuck. Actually, there is a solution. Actually, it's, I'm just getting stuck in my own head. Um, I'm just thinking too much or just you're getting trapped in your thoughts. Um, and the two of cups here, you're seeing an exchange of two people. So I don't. So I really, I do feel like this is. So in in general, I feel like all the groups generally have some type of romantic or just you know connection kind of related reading. Um, the two of cups has to do with again even ex exchange because usually the two of cups is showing two cups and usually if there's like an equal give and take like making sure like your cup is filled before you fill someone else's and then vice versa. So equal exchange or just some type of exchange in general. With the Knight of Swords is fast forwarding movement, someone coming towards you, someone coming towards you to, to some type of communication quickly coming. The Wheel of Fortune is uh, again, positive news in terms of your finances, abundance or just the wheel, the wheel spinning kind of like in your favor. Um, it's kind of funny because you got the star and heart here, so and then you got the star right here, and then I feel like this is a connection. So I think and the same thing with the star card is I I feel like there's some type of I feel like because you've made some type of mental shift in terms of like who you are as a person, individual, and you're acting on those you know, those changes, that someone is, I feel like someone is coming towards you to have some type of exchange. Um, let's get the Love Compass Oracle, just because I am curious, since there is, it has to do with the connection, it does feel like there is, it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, but it does feel like it's some type of important connection. Any clarifications for group number three, please? Any important clarifications for group number three, please? Very soon.
clearly decide what you want, what you want so that it comes to you now. So again, very fast movement, <laughs> uh, fast communication. So some, someone really wants to prompt some type of exchange. Um, okay, and you got retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world and give your relationship a chance to work with, work on your partnership. So I don't know if very soon, I feel like this is moving, I don't, I hate saying like someone coming back from your past, but like I don't know if this is a past life relationship or maybe this is, this was like a friendship and maybe you guys lost connection and you kind of reconnected or maybe this was like some type of, uh, you know, was, right situation, wrong time, and then maybe you guys are try like trying again, so maybe they're coming to ask for a chance or ask for another chance, and then maybe suggesting some type of retreat or vacation or getaway of some, of some kind to kind of like reestablish that connection. Let me see. Let's get more Oracle on this. Any other clarifications for group number three, please? We've got shield. You need to defend yourself. And with the star card. So I'm seeing here that maybe you are on the defensive that you or that you do need to make sure that you keep in mind you yourself, like what's important to you, what do you want, what are your wants and needs? Um, again, equal give and take, like making sure that you're getting whatever it is that you're putting into this situation, connection, conversation, you know, whatever it may be. You get the gong, exciting event. So this exciting event, I don't know if, if it's this kind of getaway, retreat, or vacation or some kind. Younger when dealings are relationships with the younger woman. So I don't know if maybe this person is young is a younger woman or is younger than you or identifies as a woman or maybe you identify as a woman and you are you are the younger party. Um, something along those lines. And on the bottom of a deck you get Oct October. So yeah, with very soon and then the Knight of Swords like um I know this is like the week ahead, but maybe this conversation is maybe this situation is prompting this maybe retreat kind of bonding experience to happen in October. Um, I know that uh, this is this is supposed to be like a timeless reading, but cur currently if you if you're watching this when I post it, we are very close to October. <laughs> um, and even if even if you're not, maybe there's some type of like again, vacation or event or uh, I'm getting festival, convention, um, just uh, just some type of like traveling getaway. Like maybe you're planning it for October whenever it is that you're watching this. Like maybe this whole thing is, is the situation is happening in the next seven days, but the plan is to happen for this thing, you know, exciting event to happen in October. Let's get some more Oracle, get more clarification. What are the messages are there for group number three, please? Detox your life. Feed your creativity. Make sense of Aquarius and see the magic. Let's get one more. Go with the flow. Okay, so I'm thinking, um, and at the bottom of the deck you have make a decision here. So I'm thinking with this whole detox your life, maybe, maybe this eight of swords 
maybe this Eight of Swords was caused by a toxic person, or maybe it was caused by toxic thoughts, um, self-deprecating thoughts, self-deprecating actions or ways of doing things, and you're being asked to kind of free yourself from that, like detox that from your life. Um, with Feed Your Creativity, um, it goes with the star card of like you choosing to like make changes, act on those changes um, in terms of like maybe things you want to pursue or maybe ways you want to express yourself, things like that. With See the Magic and Go with the Flow is very much like goes in hand in hand with this keep a relationship a chance, um, kind of just seeing where things go, you know, trying to see like the little signs and synchronicities um, from Spirit Universe that's trying to communicate with you or confirm or validate whatever it is that you're thinking. Same thing with Wheel of Fortune, you know, things just are overall supposed to be turning in your favor. got bring love into the situation with new moon and Aquarius okay so that relates to <laughs> um, the love can possible love connection new romantic cycle begins so maybe maybe this is a new relationship may, or maybe this is a new start to relationship confidence is your key to success so yeah in the same way that you, you you're trusting that things are going to work out have the confidence within yourself that you are going to know what you want. You are going to know how to communicate. You are confident in terms of being yourself, like, you know, expressing yourself the way that you think, the things that you believe, um, and bringing that into this connection. Um, but, yeah, that's very <laughs> weird. We were, this is, this, in general, all three, all three groups had some type of hint of, like, love connection to this. So I don't know if just the general um, consciousness that's watching this, like the general group of people watching this, it are is dealing with romantic um, situations right now. I think most of the people tuning in have some type of hint of uh, at least like important connections um, kind of in on the mind right now. And let's get some. Animal Spirit Guide Oracle. You get learn from the past. So yeah, like how, how I was saying before where maybe you say, you're saying you need to defend yourself. Um, the Eight of Swords detox your life. So maybe this came from the past. Maybe this came from a past situation. Maybe this came from, you know, your, your, your childhood or a habit or maybe, you know, relationships you saw as a child in terms of like, you kind of constraining yourself or making you feel like there's only one way that a relationship is supposed to be and that ultimately was very toxic bring your ideas to life so again with future creativity the star see the magic go with the flow so like whatever it is that you're trying to manifest whether that's a situation whether that's you know um, a relationship um, Allow yourself to be creative with it, be yourself authentically, um, and trust trust the great mystery. So yeah, trust that things are going to work out. Trust that even if you go into the unknown, that things are going to be working. Things are going to be shifting in your favor. Like these are positive changes. Like this is a good, you know, go with the flow and kind of don't fight the current. Um, just allow things to happen. And finally, let's get some charms to see if there's any other messages or validations Let's see if there's any validation or any other messages if you hear meowing those are also my cats that are provoking Jolene because they like to mess with her So. 
So you know, we got the tower here, here with the devil. Well, at least I see this as like the devil, but I really feel like this is you treating yourself or overcoming something. So I feel like there was some type of tower moment, some type of big change, some type of, I don't know if it was a breakup. I don't know if it was an argument. I don't know if it was some type of some maybe like a self-fulfilling prophecy that you're you're learning from you see right here where you're this per i like to keep this in here just because like normally this is like positive positivity happiness but when this is cut off you're very much disconnected from your mind logic analysis things like that um very much in your emotions but i really do think that you're learning from this you're trusting your intuition um and again, we got the high, we are here. We got the high. We got the higher font here with higher level commitments. Um, you have two types of like sweets here, which like I really do think. And you got the egg right here, which is like something's hatching, something's starting, something's um, maybe maybe there is a possible birth happening or contemplation of having children, things like that. Some type of surprise that isn't what you were expecting, but nonetheless, it's going to be positive and trusting your intuition in terms of like how you choose to navigate the situation in terms of like what you want what you need um making sure that you communicate those things um and again yeah like trusting that this high this next either a high level commitment whether it's a marriage whether it's again putting a label on something moving in together or um you know agreeing to be in each other's lives despite something I think just trusting your gut, learning from your past experiences, you know, learning from this epiphany, or maybe you're in the midst of like coming out of your kind of dark night of the soul um, into this more positive connection situation. But yeah, that was your guys' reading. I really wish you guys the best of luck on this. It, it really seems like things are going to work out. Um, for the best, just maybe some surprises that you aren't expecting, but good nonetheless. Um, if you would like to book a personal reading with me or support me directly via tip, um, I will put those links down below. They are always appreciated, never expected. Um, if there's specific topics or questions or type of pick a car readings that you guys would like to see, again, put those in the comments because I do read those. Um, and in general, if you would like to see more videos like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.